the stage. Oh wait, you probably don't want to. He probably don't want to be seen on. Seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. Hey, can y'all hear me on the live? Let me know if y'all can hear me loud and clear. Can y'all hear me on the live? Let me know loud and clear. Can you hear me on the live? Give me a one, two, three, four, five. Give me a one in the chat. Give me a one in the chat. One click. Shout out to Just Starting Paint. You know, Just Starting Paint got some free oils from me. She, I think she had got the lipstick. Free oil. He said, oh shit, yeah. Just, uh, you know, I'm giving out a lot of free oils. Who, who won the free oil for the video? For what video? The Which... Kids video, the, what, the 60 second clip you was asking? Uh, I got to look. The first brother that contacted me and sent, well, yeah, I'm going to say brother because he the one that did it. The first brother that sent me a video, actually, hold on, it's going to get the free oil. I'm glad you said that because I forgot to mention it, brother. The first brother with I'm trying to now I gotta scroll. Uh, Officer Sakun gets the free oil. So Sakun, if you're listening, you get the free oil. Shout out to Officer Sakun. He was on it right away. Which uh, which video did he make? He made a 60 second uh boot. Oh, I po he made a couple of them. So he made two uh two of them. I used one and then I uploaded another one that he did um this morning. He did it from me calling into the show last night whose coffee grinds is this that's quite oh. all right so um we're gonna get started in a second i'm waiting for the brother to start the clubhouse room because i'm a stream i'm gonna be streaming this on clubhouse as well i'm just waiting for him to tell me that he got the room going i already got the link from um uh Ralph also man Tommy dropped out y'all no no then that's good no. Tommy Sodomite I mean Sodomoyer dropped out who did um he said no nah, Ralph just told me he had to cancel I looked at it as scared and um he dropped out so I just want everybody to know Tommy dropped out. I, I think, me personally, Tommy, like everybody, um, Sister Betty, you can share your experience with the Hebrews this Thursday. Today is a battle. We we You see the shirt? Shout out to my man, the shop. You see the shirt? I almost, did, I almost didn't want to wear a chain just so you can see the shirt. For those that don't know, and we and sis and sister Betty, we appreciate the super chat donation, but we're doing a battle today. So uh we're not doing no testimonies today. The doors of the church is not open. Now I'm just joking, sis. I I little humor because I don't know what your story is. I don't want it to say, Kevin Desire disrespected my story. I'm just joking. All right. So this the kiss the boot shirt. Got Isaiah. Ugh, stand up. See that? Isaiah 49 and 23. Kiss the boot. All right. So we looking forward to a very spirited debate. I'm just waiting for the brother. Um, <laughs> I love, man, hold on, wait. Uh, so we just waiting for, I'm waiting for uh, Corey to start the room on Clubhouse before I join the other guy's channel. Well, technically, I could join the channel. Oh, there you go. There you go. Let me join the room. Oop. Let me join that room. Let me see if I can hear him. There we go. Hold up. Let me accept the invite. I got the invite. Let me unmute. Is my mic? Hey, Corey, can you hear me, Corey? Hey, hold on. I got to change the audio because you're coming out of my laptop. Let me just change the audio real fast. There we go. Microphone. The audio for StreamYard is fine. 
the microphone input you gotta push it to them uh, uh, thank you i appreciate it asher is always on the job hey corey can you talk again for me con con yeah there you, you go. good. yeah there you go there we go there we go all right so all right so corey now and i want to shout out my brother um I want to shout out my brother Corey. Uh, he represents the uh, God First Gang on Clubhouse. Um, brother, I met on Clubhouse, and when I was doing this debate, I specifically called Corey because Corey also has, besides God First Gang, they also have a versus platform. Versus platform on Clubhouse is the best debate platform. It's probably now I've been on a lot of different platforms on Clubhouse doing debates. The versus platform is uh, the best because it's a uh, non-bias. It doesn't matter what you believe. It's about what you could prove in that debate. So because this is a battle, I wanted to do it on the versus platform. So I reached out to Corey, Corey obliged. Um, so this fits the, and I was talking to Corey just to make sure that it actually fit the versus platform type of format because it's a battle. It's just not a battle where it's two people on clubhouse. It's just y'all listening to the stream, but for the versus platform, the YouTube platform, specifically the versus platform, because y'all are audio. When it comes to the Q and A portion, Corey, if y'all do want to ask questions, they will be able to hear you to ask questions when we get to that port. Cause uh, they usually always at some point or another uh, towards the end, they start taking questions from people. So there will be a point in time where it, uh, there's an opportunity for questions. And um, I definitely make sure y'all get in if y'all want to ask some questions. Okay. Um, and uh, I believe I have the understanding that is yourself, Tommy uh, Sotomayor, mm -hmm. and then you have uh, is it Thomas? Does he have another Peckerwood. stage name? His name is Thomas, Thomas Peckerwood. Thomas Peckerwood. Thomas, and then uh, is that name. is it just those three individuals? Well, actually, uh, about maybe two hours ago or so, maybe more, uh, the white boy Ralph hit me up and said Tommy backed out. So it's just me and the white boy. Okay, got it, got it, got yeah. it. All right. Which I, I don't know. I don't know if he got scared. I don't know if he did the research. I don't know if he saw. Um, but even the white boy Ralph thanked me because initially he wanted it to just be me and Tommy. And I said, this is not the type of uh, uh, discussion that two black men should be arguing with a white man in the middle, being like playing a puppet master. Like we need right. a, a white guy, so he got the white guy. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go. I have some boot kisses and stuff that I'm gonna play, um, but now it's getting close to eight, so I gotta join. So I'm gonna be talking, but not necessarily talking to any particular room. I'm gonna be clicking the link to join the Cats live stream, and then we're gonna get started from there, all right? Oh, hey Cap, can time. you send me that link? Um, that way I can post that at the top just in case people want to yeah. see the visuals. Kind of. Yeah, I'm going to text it to you right now. And the water again, to shout out to the God First Gang, the Versus platform. Um, I appreciate them letting me uh, stream this on here. So I'm going uh, to text the, uh, the YouTube link to you now, Corey. Oh, praises. Appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe also to all our platforms, my podcast channel, Across the Line Radio. Uh, this is also streaming on Twitter and uh, Facebook. So now I'm going to click his link. So now when I'm talking just from my clubhouse and YouTube audience, if y'all hear me talking, it's because I'm going to be joining um, Killstream's link. So if you hear me talking, I'll be talking to them, just letting y'all know. All right. Let's get this out. Oh, did I send the email to myself? Hold on. I email myself. Let me make sure I sent it. Oh, here we go. All right. Go to Google Meet. <clears throat> Our microphone and camera. Shalom, everybody. What's going on? What's the job? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, so the one, I don't want. Ain't nothing, man. Just working. He's generally pretty good at calling these things. Um, he said that basically his take is the regime has made peace with Trump, and they're kind of trying to finesse public opinion hey, and this get is used an to that. Interesting white man. This is the, I and the Supreme Court decision guy. very much reflects that my screen? that reality. Um, so I don't, you know, it's basically going to be kind of the kind of like the official coronation at Trump. 
whereby a lot of these, uh, you know, McConnell stepped down, so like yeah. he's no longer in the picture. A lot of these people, a lot of these people, 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 people are never Trump fools. They're, they're going to do, do um, if not, not, you know, know zealously, zealously endorsing, endorsing they're, they're not, not going to try and sabotage his, his, his candidacy, candidacy anymore. anymore. Um, um, yeah, so, so in some, some ways, ways it's big, big but this has been, been like in the running for a minute, so it's just not going to be some dramatic shake I don't think. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, I, I don't really disagree with that really, uh, myself. Uh, and it, and it looks, looks like he's going to rock tonight. tonight. Everybody, Everybody that. that. Now, now, the, the captain, captain is here uh, now, so uh, we'll, we'll get, get back, back to our primary, primary coverage, coverage here in a bit. Now, captain, captain, can you, you hear me and see me? me? Yes, I can hear you and see you. Can you? Can, well, I could see um, Peckerwood Thomas when the flyer said Peckerwood. So I could see Peckerwood. <laughs> I can see. I can see Thomas pretty good. Now I see you kind of in the middle, but I see your chat also. But I okay. see your face and I'll, I see the chat. I'll, I'll, I'll fix, fix the, the for, for some, some reason, reason it dropped, dropped out in terms, terms of being able to see, see right? right? We you said, said that, which is really strange. Uh, uh, but uh, I'll, I'll fix, fix that, that somehow. somehow. I don't, I don't know, know why I would do that. that but uh, so, let, let me see if I can fix that. that. Uh, now, now I'm, I'm going to let you start because it's kind of. You know, you know, it's, it's kind of your topic, topic right? right? Um, yeah, I, yeah I, might, I could give a little history as to why. Like, I contacted Ralph for this particular subject. If you want me, I can um, start it off if that if the, if that's what you want me to do. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be great. great. Uh, and, and let, let me, me. What did, what did I, I hit here, here to knock, knock out the? Yeah. Okay, okay, let me. Okay, now, now it should be. be. Okay, okay, we're, we're back. back. I, I can, can see you now. Um, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'd, I'd like, like you to start, start out because yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of your topic, topic your idea, idea, and I, I, I didn't, didn't know much about, about it. I know a little bit about it now. Uh, but, but go, go ahead. ahead and I'll, I'll you, so you didn't know you didn't know nothing about it at all. I mean, I mean I'd, I'd seen, seen it before, before um, but I, I didn't really know much about. Like it refreshed my memory once I okay. saw the. You know, I looked up some videos and stuff and watched some of your stuff with Whack One Hundred. Right. Um, so then I kind of remembered that this was a was a practice that you guys do. Um, but no, it hadn't really been on my my agenda. Uh, but uh, I'll let you explain it uh, and then I'll let Thomas go. OK. All right. Thanks, man. So how we how we got here with. Ra OK, first, I'm Captain Tazariak of ICBK under command of Jenny Han. I've been a guest on Ralph's kill stream. Uh, network for some years now maybe i would say maybe four years um, if i'm going back yeah. to time um i've beaten all of his guests i think i'm the only black guy in the white guys hall of fame uh you know i like that part uh <laughs> <laughs> i think that's so anyway, true yeah see and look and this and if i could say about one thing i like about ralph ralph lets me do pretty much whatever i want on his platform um and i respect ralph for that and that's why i reached out to him so how we got here was um, what I've seen on social media maybe the past two or three months um, was different people talking about um, black people getting white people or forcing white people to kiss their boots, like to get on their knees and <laughs> kiss their boots. Yeah, th yeah. <laughs> Look, Thomas couldn't hold that one in. Yeah, Thomas, I'm a, I'm gonna show you. So, so let me, let me give, let me tell you. I mean, there's these guys who like pay other guys to screw their wives while they watch. People are letting all kinds of pervert shit. I mean, yeah, well, that is just really perverted because this is actually in the Bible. So I want to give you an example. So I want to, <laughs> I want to share my screen so I can show you exactly what. I'm, so let me see. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Before I share, let me see which video I want to actually show. I just want to highlight. Also, I'm putting this out on Twitter. Okay. okay. So now yeah. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm just going to share my screen. You're going to show an example of this? Okay, yeah, go I'm going to show, show it on the street, like what, what we're talking about, and then the controversy that came with it. All right. So I'm going to share this, my screen here. So can y'all see this video right here? Uh, Yeah, it's, it, yep, I can see it. Okay, so let me enlarge it so y'all get the full full effect. So I'm going to play it. Give Dave a hand. Wait, hold on. They saw what? Well, now, what you're noticing, he reads the title. Oh, what? They saw what? Bow down to thee. Wow. If you sorry for what happened to us in slavery, bow. Give David. Now, you see, on they, both knees. they, on both knees, good way, right, man, because uh, he's getting on his with their face really. towards the earth. If you mm -hmm. really sorry for what happened in slavery, this is facts I'm bringing out. Then bow and put your face on the ground. Right. 
Get that man a hand. Get that man a hand. And lick up the dust of thy feet. Do what? And lick up the dust of thy feet. Now, Dave, if you do this, you're going to impress me, man. That's right. And the Lord may have mercy on you. That's you right. Understand? The Lord said to lick up the dust of our feet. The feet of the children of the slaves, which means you need to kiss every boot of the man in this country. I'm going to skip one. You ready, Dave? <laughs> Let's go. A little bit. Let's go. You got to kiss my boot if you saw it. Now what? You understand? Okay, look. Give Dave a hand. Every Keep brother. Every brother. Every brother. Every hey, man, that's up man, here. Man, look, I got he, something else for you. Come on, come on, let's go. We are the true prophets of the Lord over here. This white man really signed. If any white man here, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip up your babies first, right? Uh, you now you see all in the kingdom. She will be royalty. Come on, sis, let's go. So now the she will be royalty. That was come in. On, let's go. So now I'm, I'm gonna stop it for now. So now the black people, the black people that was in the audience. They were also getting their foot, foot kissed. And this was a white man that was apologizing for what his ancestors did. So now we're transpired. So now we've been doing this for a long time. This is not like a new thing um, that I should be K that the Israelites have been doing. This is something that we've been doing since like the 80s or 70s or something like that. But it's gotten a lot of attention lately. So I myself got into an argument with a black guy over um going back and forth the guy's name was uh whack 100 so we go back and forth and then i saw other black people uh putting it up there and so you had black people saying that they was going to tell on me to white people which is insane like part of the reason why we even do the boot kiss is to erase the uh the stockholm syndrome that we as black people suffer in america and so when he said he was going to do that, so when Wax says he's going to tell white people on me, I said, well, I know white people that I could call and we could actually have a public discussion about it. So I hit up Ralph and I text Ralph. I say, hey, Ralph, we, you know, we haven't done nothing in a while. He said, what you want to do? I said, well, a lot of people are angry about us getting white people to kiss the boot. Ralph LOL'd me, but then he found, <laughs> yeah, he LOL'd me. And then so Ralph, he first got Tommy Sotomayor. So and Tommy Sotomayor is, you know, uh, uh, a crazy type of guy, but he's black. And that wouldn't really fit the aesthetic that I was looking for as far as having a conversation. So I told Ralph, I said, we got to at least have a white guy on here, too, because Ralph is going to mainly be like a mediator. He's not really now he can get into it, of course, but he's mainly going to just be a mediator. So we need a white guy. So then he gets uh, Thomas Peckerwood. Is it, is it actually Peckerwood or that's just for the flyer? That's for Thomas. What do you mean? Like, your, is your name actually Peckerwood, or is that just? No, that's what I am um, categorically. Oh, that's what you are. Cat I'm gonna have to look up that. Somebody look up Peckerwood so we can categorically identify Thomas. All right, so now, so when he got Thomas, it actually worked out, Ralph, because you see, Tommy ran. Like Tommy, Tommy said, "I ain't about to deal with Cap on this subject." Because, and I would, I wanted to know what was, what would have been Tommy's position on this. Oh, Peckerwood, a white person, now, especially a poor white one. So you a poor white man, Thomas? Am I poor? That's what the definition of. De in the dictionary in the Oxford, it says a white person, especially a poor one, another Peckerwood with bad attitude. Would that be? the oh, Peckerwood with a bad attitude, absolutely. But not you're not poor, though. I mean, everyone's poor compared to somebody. I'm poor compared to Elon Musk, but I'm rich in spirit. God damn. So you like Pecker rich? Not peck of wood. I mean, like I said, man, everybody's peck of silver. Maybe you peck of silver or peck of gold. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, but it was good though, Ralph. It worked out because you see, Tommy ran. He had to back out. I won't. I won't categorize it as that. Um, he, he did have to back out, and it ended up working out. Yes, because mm -hmm. originally it's going to be a triple threat, and then um, he he had to back out, and then so it was good that we had to. <laughs> because we wouldn't have had a show. I'm a uh, diabolical. Listen, I'm a genius because had I not said we need the white guy, we'd be we like you said, we would have had to cancel. And and of course, Ralph is not gonna say Tommy Rand. I'm saying Tommy Rand. That's what I'm saying. Captain Tazaria is saying Tommy Rand. All right. So that's so how we got here. So I guess from your position, Thomas, when you see that video, is it something that you feel should white people apologize for? What their ancestors did to black people? 
I guess we can. Well, at base, at base, what what's going on here is um, it's a fetish, and fetishes are not always sexual, but they often are. This one isn't obviously, but <laughs> all fetishes are psychological. Okay, but you said this one isn't obviously. Is that what you said? Yeah, it's obviously not a sexual thing, but it oh, is a fetish. Okay, I got you. Okay, and what's the um? What's, no, well, what, what I mean by finish? that is, oh, sorry, you're right. You're right. You're right. What I mean by that is, these trashy white people—they're descendants of the village idiots. They're not descendants of the slave master. So they get to pretend like they had some important ancestors. They're not actually like Walmart shopping, corny fucking weirdos. And like black folks, they get to like get a kick out of having this like corny fucking white loser like kiss their feet. You know, it's like guys hiring other guys like bone their wives. It's some like humiliation fetish thing. And I realized that my, my lesser, like a lot of white people are like pretty fucked up and like kind of lesser people who do like really stupid shit. So, I mean, like, I, I don't care. I mean, like, they're, they got nothing to do with me. Like, they're fucking idiots. And like I said, like, if they should be apologizing for slavery, well, there's two things going on here. First of all, like I said, these people, they're like the descendants, the village idiot, and like the fucking local, like, ditch digger. Like, the fact that they think they're, like, descended from, like, plantation owners is fucking really funny. Because they're not. They're, they're like Walmart motherfuckers. Secondly, slavery precedes um, written language in the fossil record. So, like, you'd be apologizing for some, like, universal human institution. That doesn't make any sense. Slavery still goes on today. Like, black people enslave black people in Africa. Like, white people enslave white people in Central Asia. Like, it's not, it, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's un, is it unfortunate? Probably. But, I mean, a lot of things are unfortunate. It's, it's not, um, plus, you can't apologize for what your ancestors did. Like, it's not, that's not categorically possible. It's got to be, like, the will to atone for something and the person who does it. You can't apologize on behalf of other people. Like that's that's not how it works. So nobody. So, yeah. So you're saying in history, nobody apologizes for what the ancestors have done. No, it's a bitch made move, and I'm not a bitch, so I don't do that. So wait, so like the Germans apologizing because that you know y'all like the Germans, so the Germans apologizing. If they apologize, what would they be? I gotta laugh out of Ralph. Well, they. I mean, they're an occupied country that. We're subjected to a genocidal war waged I'm against them by Jews and communists. I mean, it. occupied people are subjected to all kinds of indignities. No, what I'm asking if the Germans apologize for what y'all did to the Jewish people, are they bitch made too? If they're doing it out of their own free will and not because of the enduring occupation, yeah, absolutely. No, if they so if they're doing it out of their own free will, they're bitch made. But if they're doing yep. it another way, what are they? I mean, if somebody's if if you're an occupied country. Mm -hmm. And you'll be sanctioned for not abiding certain practices and political rituals and, and opinions. I mean, which is the case in Germany. I'm not going to hold against Germans for not like rising up against that shit when they're literally an occupied country. But wouldn't but, I mean that's all different issue? But yeah, any anyone who apologizes for history and can't take their own side in a fight is a bitch. Wouldn't you think that's reversed though? Wouldn't it be more bitch made if they did it because of? policies as opposed to if they did it of their own free will no one should do it anyway but no not it's at least understandable if there's duress that's why in a court of law is the concept of duress, duress, duress yes, removes free will. you could be a traitor under duress you could do a lot of things under duress so wouldn't it be more bitch made if you're doing it under duress that means you know? no because it's like saying like if you sign a contract when i have a gun to your head that like that makes you no, gun to their head. Like, no it doesn't it means that you're under duress i wouldn't do it but people are different it's not the point anyway. And it's weird that you say it's not bitch made to do so. So if you if you tell, so if you're a traitor under duress, that's okay. That's not okay, but it's it, it's it's a it's mitigating circumstance. Made. That's a little weird. And then you it's say, not a little weird. It's universally accepted. It's called logic. Well, tell me how it's universally accepted. Because in a court of law, duress mitigates free will because you can't be said to be acting freely when you're under threat. Of, uh, this is just apologizing for life, liberty, or property. But this is just apologizing for something. This ain't a threat of death or imprisonment. This is the just... apology isn't the threat. What I'm saying is that people are placed under duress not lose. abiding certain opinions in the Bundes Republic. So no, if there's so... footage of Germans apologizing and seemingly to be obsequious before Jewish interest groups, that's why. It's not because the culture but has made said... a decision, oh, we should apologize for this based on some sort of spontaneous right. decision in that direction. So what you're saying is that them. The Germans, because they can get some political gain from the Jewish people if they apologize. No, that's not what I said. That's a positive I'm trying, incentive. I'm trying I think to, duress. No, no, I'm trying to. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to understand. Where is the duress? If they 
just apologize. The rest is that they're an occupied country. It's against the law to carry out acts or make statements that quote unquote undermine the constitution or promote racial hatred. You're in penal jeopardy. Let me finish. Wait, no, no. One at a time, gentlemen. Let's Thomas finish. You're in penal jeopardy in Germany if you say certain things that the government disagrees with, including things specifically things relating to the Second World War. Right. I don't. I don't condone it if German people say treasonous things or you know, genuflect before these sorts of rules, but I understand it because again, duress is a mitigating factor My and God. free will can't be said to be present when duress is present. And if you're in an occupied country where it's against the law to oppose official opinion on a historical event, that is what's known as duress in the textbook sense. Well, in the textbook no, 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 sense, that's not what duress is. Duress in the textbook sense is compulsion by threat of force, coercion, constraint. Such yeah, exactly. Such that's a, what I just said. Such a constraint. Well, placing, someone in, placing someone under threat of penal such liability for such holding an opinion contrary to that of the government. Not to interrupt you. You asked me not to interrupt you. Such a constraint of coercion as it will render void a contract or other legal act entered or performed under influence. The question, the reason why I was interrupting you before, I just wanted a quick uh, question, if you could tell me yes or no. Germ you said Germany is under what now? Occupation. So Germany is not occupied by Germans, they occupy, I'm assuming you're going to say by Jewish people. Germans can't occupy their own country. It's occupied by NATO, which is uh, the so armed, which is the armed element you of an incredibly answer. powerful you got you. You constellation you, of interest. Got you answered the question. So them apologizing, a German apologizing. I noticed you went straight to the government. When I just said a German apologizing by force, you saying that that's not bitch made. But if they do it a free will, that is bitch made. Yeah, generally. Okay, so if they have, if they feel like what their ancestors did to Jewish people was wrong, that's bitch made. Yeah, it also makes you a race traitor. Damn, I, I, I almost can't. I don't know how much I can disagree with that, but that goes right to why we do the boot kiss, and that's why I wanted to have this demonstration. And for, for black people in America, I noticed you call it a fetish, right? So I do want to read the Bible because it's not a fetish for us. This actually comes from the Bible of what your people. What are. fetishism doesn't come from the Bible, but go ahead. No, no, I said, I said, it's not a fetish. I said, I know you can say whatever you want, but that's what it is. But yeah, go ahead. No, but it does come from the Bible. I'm going to read it. That's how, that's how you know it. You, and you just said, um, the Bible is not a fetish. Did I hear you correctly or incorrectly? Yeah, you're saying that your foot fetishism is oh, in the Bible, and I know it's not. Wait, 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 I mean, you can wait, interpret wait, you can wait, interpret wait, scripture wait, any way you want. So wait, go ahead. No, no, wait, right. stay, I don't mind the ad libs. I'm cool with it. But you just said that the Bible is not a fetish. I agree with you. So I'm just gonna read Isaiah. Yeah, no, go ahead. Thank read. I'm not gonna interrupt. Okay, no problem. Isaiah 49 and 23. It says, "A king shall be thy nursing fathers, thy queen, queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee, to thee with their face toward the earth." And lick up the dust of thy feet. So is that literal or not literal? Well, it's in, it's in the same vein as that it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than a rich man to ascend to heaven. Okay. You know, it's it's, it's not it's not exclusively metaphorical. It's not it's not exclusively metaphorical or exclusively literal. Right. But um, you're you're basically declaring that based on your race, you're a king. And I mean that that's high idolatry. I, number I one. Say, um, no, I didn't base my race as um, a king because it doesn't say as a I'm a king. No, but that's that that's your notion though. Like no, uh, no, it doesn't say it doesn't say that I'm gonna be a king. It's saying the rulers of this place, the people of this place that are in position of power or ruling, they are gonna lick up my feet. I'm not the king. I'm no, the, but you are, but you're like, but you're like rich in spirit and they're impoverished in spirit. Don't say I mean, that's rich spirit. Point. This don't say rich in spirit. Let's stay focused. This doesn't say rich in spirit. This says, no, it's that, this says that you guys, I'm saying you guys, because from our, from a black person's position, you guys enslaved us. You, you were your ancestors. When I'm saying you, it's in general. So if you want to say your ancestors didn't have slaves because you say you're a peck of wood so you probably was the trash of the white people so you might not have had slaves oh no no my answers were your master absolutely go ahead you, oh thank you okay then so you and your people it says will lick up the dust of thy feet and that's what no. people do and he, and here's the thing i also noticed that you made a point to say that these was poor white trash people that was licking up the dust that's that pretty what? much 
All right, so what if I show you white women too licking up the dust? They pour white trash too. I'll I mean, there's there's rich white women who oh, like to get screwed okay, by strange right. guys at bars. Like that's the that, that video. Over all kinds of perverted stuff. Let me let me let me show another let me show another video. Just 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 another video. I'm sorry. Let me share my screen again. All I'm right, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> Ralph, they really want to show this one. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I've wait. seen it, but I, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, Ralph. Ralph, I'm gonna make you an oil. Why right, now? I'm gonna play this one. <laughs> Hold on, here you go, right here. Here you go, boo, right here. White mama. Here you go. There you go. Uh, there we go. Did you, what did you say? Say it again. You said, you're going to have my mom kiss your boo? I'm not going to just have her kiss my boo. Here you go. Put that boot up there, too. You're going to kiss my brother boo, too. Here you go. Put the light on it. There you go. I got it. There we go. Next brother. So I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to stop sharing. So now, why do you think they do it? Now you already said you already said from good families, right? It's not poor white trash. So you can't say it, but now you just flipped it. Now you just said you say hey, you did. You initially no, you initially said you initially said poor white trash. Now you said girls, white girls from good families, which you so you can no longer wait for so you. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh, I just did. That's a That's a headshot. Okay, so now what I'm, now what you're gonna force me to do, because like I want everybody to pay attention to the pattern. When I showed the white guy, he said it was poor white people. Now when I showed the white you implied poor hey, in my chat. Hey, in my chat. If you not let me know in my chat if he implied poor, please let me know in the chat. And don't kill I'm not calling him poor. I'm going off of what you said. Mm -hmm. What you said. No problem. But Thomas, you said you was a peck of wood. I looked it up. The definition said poor. I didn't say poor. You said you was poor. When I grew up the book, if I don't know something, if I don't know what something is, you're supposed to look it up. Why not know? Should, should I just think? No, you do. You do look up what it means. I don't understand that because there's if there's any if there, no 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 listen when I when I looked up Peckerwood Peckerwood to me was poor but you made me look it up because I didn't want to be if somebody say Peckerwood you think somebody up in the, if you say hey Thomas if you say somebody that's a Peckerwood you thinking about somebody in the sticks somebody like I'm telling you, no, you ain't getting what I'm saying. When I think of, I'm telling you what I think of when I think of Peckerwood. It's like, if you say redneck, you think of some type of hillbilly or something like that. But like you said, you in Chicago. So I had to look it up. So you, the reason why we're going through this poor and rich narrative is because you initially said they was poor. You initially said they was rich. But to get back to the reason why I chose to, um, hold on one sec, if you could bear me one second. Uh, hold on, they telling me they can't hear you. I'm just give, bear with me one second. I just want to check my audio just to make sure that they can hear you. If you don't mind, Ralph. I appreciate it. Let me go back. Maybe I might have clicked something here. Bear with me one second. Oh, I see what happened. I turned the damn share screen off. Yeah, that'll mess with okay. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you turn if you turn the yeah. share screen off, it'll definitely stop, but it should be good. Yeah. It should be good now. So now the reason why we do this, right? Is so now you just heard you you just said the Bible is not a fetish. And to my, my audience, y'all should be good now. Um, um, the reason why we do that, you said the Bible is not a fetish. So what we do is black people suffer from something that's called Stockholm syndrome, right? Stockholm syndrome is, is of course, I did that happen in Germany? 
But no, it happened in Sweden. Sweden, Stockholm, right, Sweden. Sweden. Right. So like, that, the, like, the, like these like these pervy white people who are into like licking your feet, they suffer from it. But go ahead. <laughs> no sweat, man. If, if that's your cop out, that's your cop out. It's not a cop out. It's, it is it's, a cop out. We get this done all over. Then I tell you what, y'all must be some freaky ass white people because we get this done all over the country. All over the country in the UK ain't nothing but freaky ass white people that like to kiss boots, which I ain't surprised because y'all weird in the first place. But now Stockholm syndrome is you a call yourself captain and are in defeat, man. Like right. that's fucking weird. I'm not in defeat. I don't I don't yeah, well, apparently you are, but go ahead. I don't suffer from Stockholm syndrome, but my people do. So I just want to well, you probably gonna get mad because I'm reading the definition. Stockholm syndrome is proposed conditional theory. That tries to explain why hostages sometimes develop a psychological bond with their captors. It's supposed to result from a rather specific set of circumstances, namely power imbalances contained in hostage taking, kidnapping, and abusive relationships. So, how does that apply to black people? So, for black people being enslaved over here for so long, we have, and then as we're enslaved, we get certain uh, gifts, so to speak, from our slave masters. So they give us a sense of freedom. They give us a vehicle. They give us a job. They give us tons of different things, even drugs. They give us tons of different things that gives us a sense of being free, but we're not actually separated from the actual master or the oppression that they still give to us. So when we come out here on the street, I noticed that you said I was a captain. So when we come out here on the street, the Bible, Christ said in John 8 and 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. When he said that statement in John the 8th chapter, in the very next verse, you had the, the, the Sadducees and Pharisees who was under the Romans at that time said, we be Abraham's seed and we're not in bondage. And so when we go to black people to try to free them from the same Stockholm syndrome Christ was trying to free them from, they say the same thing to us. And surprisingly, what happens is as we're on the street teaching, because it's a public space, like we're not like right now I'm in my classroom. So we don't allow like whites and Africans and Chinese into my classroom. But when we're on the street, anybody can listen. And so white people would just be walking by, whether we're in D.C. with the politicians, whether we're in South Carolina, Florida, wherever we may, wherever we may be, and they'll hear what we're saying. And when we start bringing out the crimes that they've committed, they want to apologize. It's They're weak-minded motherfuckers, and these people, they could... These mm. people, could, these people could could fuck up a cup of coffee. They're not capable of enslaving an entire race like my heritage is. Theirs isn't. They're fucking Walmart. Who, who, who's your in race that's in, that can enslave an entire race? Who is that? Uh, who who is that? Um, the fucking master cast, man. You said it yourself. You, you see how bitch made white people wait, got wait, no wait, backbone wait, wait, and are wait, basically wait, slaves wait, themselves. Wait, wait, when you say master cast, remember I don't know these terms. What is a master cast? Okay, you know the language you speak, the way you dress, the food you English, eat, the concepts right. you have in mind, right? Like the eth the, the ethical paradigms you invoke, right? That's from my people. That's but, what I but, gave but, you. But you literally don't also, exist socially wait, without on, me. Wait, wait, wait. I got you. But ain't it also your people? We getting to bow down and lick up. I'm not being down on you about that. Is the fact. No, no. I don't. You didn't hear me complain. But isn't it also your same people that you said that could enslave us? That's also licking the boots. No, that's because your, anybody, any, because anybody would do that. Mr. Was that anyone who would, anyone, anyone, a, who would lick, uh, anyone who would lick a man's boot is a fucking slave, and they do not have so the fucking you, bearing for it. So maybe they those, made. so maybe those white people are preparing to be slaves. No, right? what they are, they're the, they're the, they're the descendants hey, of, they're the, they're the descendants of slaves. They're the, they're the descendants. They're descendants of, of the masters, right? No, they're the descendants that's of cap. the fucking village idiot. That's cap. That's cap. That's not true. They that's are absolutely the, true. They are the you, 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 think, you think anybody? You think anybody? They, were, they, you think, they weren't the descendants. One time. You think anybody? You think anybody who had like an intact heritage would fucking do that? No, they're fucking. They they they're, they're people ripped out of history. They're you fucking. They're, they're they're no account motherfuckers. They couldn't even tell you who their grandfather right. is. They fucking their life revolves around Walmart, and they fucking like CNN told them like hate, you owe the black man. They're Walmart. doing that bullshit. You must hate Walmart, or maybe for them. There's a condition, right? I'm going I'm to uh, pull out some stats. I don't know why you hate uh, stats personally. I don't know why you hate that. There's uh, this thing called white shame, right? How to convert guilt into action, right? It's not written by me at all. But I do research. I have to study. 
right? So it says, um, I'm just going to read some of this article and get down to the point that I'm trying to make. It says, over the last month sparked by the murder, this was written in 2020, uh, sparked by the murders of unarmed black Americans and subsequent protests, the national conversation has turned to the country's racist past and present. For some, this conversation includes reckoning with oneself. Have I participated actively or subconsciously in a racist system that oppresses people of cover, color? Am I a racist? Asking this question and facing the true gravity of America's oppressive history can plunge people into an overwhelming shame. So would you agree or disagree that maybe it's your slave master's relatives shame that they look at by kissing this boot, they're making amends for their shame, but they know that's, that's, that's all they have to do. That statement you just read out, it's an ideologically loaded statement. It's the quintessentially loaded question. It's like saying, when did you stop beating your wife? Right. Saying, if you think this, you're a racist. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, racist is a meaningless term. It's a floating signifier. They can like, it's, it's like literally a term coined by Trotsky to try and condemn uh, the social and economic paradigm that he opposed by saying this is inherently immoral and bad. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, maybe it's neither. But like people telling me, if you don't do this or say this, you're racist. That that means well, nothing is, to me. Well, God himself is a racist. So I don't think it was coined by Trotsky or whatever name that you mentioned. God himself is a racist. God doesn't love everybody. He doesn't love all nations. So if we're going to start with who if we're going to start with the point very few people are saved but god doesn't discriminate based on like tribe or ethnos that's not how it yes, works. he absolutely does god there's does. people who reject god outright like the jews but other people accept logos well, like, he doesn't people, say, like oh this race is well, bad god, that's how well, it works well god hates jewish people too like they're they ain't nothing but another set of white people so god no, not. yes they are that that's no, not. Other. yeah the Jewish man. You're talking about you're talking about group anatomy, yeah, but that's not what race is. Know, damn, group anatomy, y'all from the same tribe of Esau. They're no. like, yeah, yeah, you no. know, yes, they are. I know that hurt a little bit, don't it? That your brother. Yeah, they don't hurt. It's just, it's like you could say I'm Chinese. It's just like not. True. I would say you're Chinese because like you ain't from Moab, so you're not Chinese. But if we're talking about the Bible, remember, in the Bible it says you can't even and you can't intermarry, and that Israel was supposed to be above all nations. That is racism. To put a nation and say that this nation should be the top nation above all nations. That's not what it said. It said that they were that they were the, they were the oh. subject of the covenant. And then oh, Christ, no, no. and then when, and hold on, and then when Christ Christ arrival on earth, Christ is logos incarnate, and that neutralized the original covenant. So like Jews lost their elect status. Okay, that's what happened. So good, it wasn't God saying like this race is good, this race is bad, right. and like the Jews who rejected Christ, mm -hmm. yeah, they're on the outs with God. But that's why it's not like because of their DNA or something. But now we're getting into a good conversation. So Deuteronomy seven and six says, "For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord God, thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself." above all people upon the face of the earth that's what racism is racist then when you look up no racism, but it's it depends hey, on like oh look, oh look let me finish appreciate it what's also you're, you're saying that you're you, you're saying that like your wisdom is superior to that of god's and like that's i'm not up. saying my wisdom is that superior of god but if the scriptures say let god be true and every man a liar so if i'm reading that god said he chose you to be above all people on the face of the earth that's not equal but that's why did he do that he didn't do that because he's like Jews have the right DNA. I'm, and I'm not even told, wait, wait, wait. What's probably hard, the reason why it's hard for you to have this conversation is because your brother, the Jewish man. No, I'm not. He, he's your brother. If anybody is, you are because like you, you're, you no, worship that the ain't Jews, my brother. We don't worship no damn Jewish man. Are you crazy? But that's you're wearing a star right. of David, man. You're wearing a star of David. Like you this literally is, worship. This the is Jews. not, you know, stars don't have points. Stars is a ball of gas up in the sky. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Yeah. See, I'm a teacher today. So now, if I'm, I'm, not, said, I'm, not, I'm not the one who's to start, David. Chose, if God said He chose a people to be above all people, that's what racism is. When you look up the word racism, no, it racism is thinking that your race is superior to others. God set Israel to be superior to others, not Jews, not the Jewish man. The Jewish man ain't shit. I'm listen. I'm with you. <laughs> I, I hate your brother like you hate your brother. I don't hate anybody. You hate the Jewish man, though. You, no, I don't. I don't hate anybody. Why would I hate? I don't know why you don't want to say this is a kill stream. We got the freedom to say <laughs> what we want on route. I say whatever I want. I don't no care about hating. And the part that, that you said, the part that you said about Christ being the logos or being God, that's cap because Christ didn't come for all nations. That's not what I said. Right. Not all people said, can receive logos. Those who when, can, you say, when you say not all, when you say not all people. What I, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is a lot of people believe that 
in the Old Testament, like you just said, you said Jews, but I would say Israel got the covenant. But when Christ came now, if you believe in Christ because he's this logos, as you said, that now you have the opportunity. So now a uh, Asian or black or white or something like that can now be a part of that. What I'm well, saying, yeah, the kingdom of Christ is the new Israel. The king, That's exactly. Point. Right. So what I'm telling you is that the kingdom of Israel is the same kingdom. It was the whole time, which is just the nation of Israel. If I could just read two more verses, uh, in Deuteronomy seven and seven, it says the Lord. Now this goes to show you that this is God. That's a racist of his own words, not me. This Deuteronomy 7 and 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of the bondmen of Egypt. So it's God who's a clear racist that chose to love Israel, not because they was the most people, but because he made that covenant. No, with no, it's not, but you're deliberately misinterpreting like why God chose the Israelites. He didn't do it, because, read it. because of their race. He did it because they were the subject of the covenant. That's not because what they could say. because they because they could accept logos. They accepted monotheism. Okay, other so people worshiping idols. That's why it's not because God said, "I like this race. They're really dope." Like that's not what happened. Okay, so you partially correct. Because you're saying what I said. correct. No, 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 no. The reason why I'm saying you're partially correct is he didn't choose him for a race per se. He chose him because of Abraham. So Abraham, yeah, Isaac, that's my point. right. Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Jacob. Jacob became the Israelites and that's who he loved. But once he established that covenant and love for Israel, Israel is to be above all nations. You know what he says about the other nations? When, yeah. you, when you read Isaiah 40 and 17, he says the other nations are unto spit. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, they're right. They're, they're pagans, they're idolaters. Wait, okay, they why did he say that? Little. Okay, hear me, hear me out for a minute. Why did he say that? They were practicing child sacrifice. They were worshiping idols. That's why. Like, they were, they were essentially worshiping Satan. I mean, that that's why. Okay, it's not because he's like, that. those races are bad. It's because they, were, they rejected Logos. They rejected the God, you know, in favor of, uh, you know, worshiping Moloch or Baal or whatever. And they... And the Canaanites, if you believe scripture, literally threw children into the fire. You know, I mean, that's that's why they were out with God. It's right. not because they were like the wrong tribe or something. Anyone right. like Jews are like a special mm -hmm. tribe because of like their DNA, like they claim today. Like that's completely that's that that's that's blasphemous. It's not just wrong. Hey, you know, before Edomites were born, God hated them, had nothing to do with idol worship. Before they were born. Like in Rome. Uh, yeah, but that's that's uh I mean that that, that comes down to that goes down to predestination and a lot of other things. Well, that's that's y'all people though. That that's where you descend from. So in Romans the ninth chapter, when he says, For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, but that the purpose of God according to election. I mean, I'm not I don't so he you're basically just flipping identity like Christianity in its head. Like you, you you're just like the guys who claim like a black man is the descendant of Shem and is like the mark of whatever. Like I, I don't accept that. I don't know about the mark. Sense. But we are the descendants of Israel, the true ones. You guys are the descendants of Esau. So in Romans the ninth chapter, it clearly says, Jacob, "No, I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the descendant of Caucasus marauders who That's uh, where Edom comes from, who, who mastered Equestrian where, 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 and conquered, uh, you know, conquered the Central Asian and European landmass." Got you. Where did Ed Esau dwell? Do you know? He, the whole Caucasus that you just said, that's Edom. Esau was a cave dweller. He dwelt in the he came, he came in the Near East. He may, he may have been, but it wasn't the Caucasus. It was in the Near East. Okay. It was in uh, it was in what would now be in proximity to Mount Ararat and all that. Right. So when that's when, not the Caucasus. That's the, that's the, that's what we consider the Middle East. Yeah. When you read Obadiah, it says, "The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock." He was known as a cave dweller in the Bible, and you guys call yourselves cave dwellers today. That's the Caucasus Mountain. Isn't <laughs> <no more? laughs> the yeah, Caucasus is, yeah, is a yeah, yeah, the Caucasus, yeah, it's, not, it's not caves. Yeah, yeah, the Caucasus Mountains. That's where y'all came out the mountains mad as shit, too. But and then, that's, uh, subject to get now, now you're talking like, that's like <laughs> NOI shit. Like, uh, NOI. That, I, 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 no, I haven't, I haven't heard anybody tell me a caveman since I was fucking talking to the, talking no, to the pipe. And, NOI believes some big head scientists created y'all. I'm not the NOI. No, but they but they call they call whitey cave dwellers. I just hadn't heard that. Call yourselves cave dwellers. You can't get mad at the NOI. For I don't get mad at anybody. Right? I, I know NOI dudes. I fucking I've, I've recorded them for my content. I don't give a say, fuck. But when you say that the NOI says 
y'all were made out of the caves, but y'all say y'all was made out of the caves. You can't. I've actually never said that. But okay. Yeah, you just said that. So I, now, I just said that. No, I did not yeah. just say I'm a caveman. So now that we established that God is definitely a racist, He hates Esau. That's where white people come from. What we have to do as black people in America, the point of that boot kiss, and what I will, what I do like about you, Peckerwood, is that it's rare on Ralph's channel that we read a lot of scriptures. But I was able to read a lot of scriptures. So when yeah, we, I'm a Calvinist, man. I I, read, I grew up reading scripture. I should do it more now. As a grown uh, up, read it no more. Yeah. No, you don't need to read no more scriptures because it ain't for you. It's like it's like if I get <laughs> it's, like, it's like if I get the American Constitution, that ain't for me, right? Do you think that's for me? It's not comparable. I mean, one's one's Thank basic you. criminal procedure hey, code, one's the word of God. Hand, hand clap back, man. Give me my hand. I like honest white men. I, I love honest white men. You see what he said? I listen. I hope to my black audience. Listen to Peckerwood. Peckerwood said it is not comparable. Why? Because when the American Constitution was written, we were slaves. It wasn't written with us in mind. When they say all men are created equal, we were not the men that it was thought of. And when the Bible was written. It wasn't written for all people either. So when Christ came or when Moses came, it was. Well, I mean, that wasn't my point. My point is one's the word of God and one's a criminal procedure code. So uh, <laughs> but they got the same principle, though. When it says all men are created equal, it's not including. That's, all Jacob, men. that's Jacob and bullshit thrown in there by Thomas Jefferson. That's also not true. But what's um, not true? What's not true? All men are equal. That's fucking retarded. Thank you. My, that's my point, because we were slaves. So how could it mean all men are equal when they killing us, raping us, doing all that evil to us, but all men are equal? I'm in agreement with you. And that's my point. And the Bible is the same way. The Bible is the written will and testament to the children of Israel. It's not written to everybody. So that Jewish man that stole the records is no different than the Christian white men that stole the records as well. So what we have to do when we go out on the streets, the reason why I showed that video with them black ladies getting their boot kiss. The only way to counter the psychological destruction of black people is, is foot fetishism. No, not it. Not, it's like you now, you minimize it to foot fetish, right? But you know what a black person I'm not minimizing it. It's weird. You know, what a black person that has looked up and idolized white people that have grown up in fear of white people can see black men on the street talk aggressively to other white people, white women and white men. Get them on their knees to apologize. That's how you free mental oppression, because all their life they think we suppose you know. Yeah, but anybody, but any, but my point was at the beginning, like at the start, like anybody who would do that, do that is a part. Don't do that. Don't do that because you first said they was poor, but then you said they was rich. No, I said I'm saying now anybody like who do all that. Over the say, but when you. Out. No, uh, anybody, one time. Anybody, I'm, here. I'm here. I'm here. Anybody who do that is a punk. So I don't see how I can alleviate your anxieties in that regard. Because like no fucking no no like white man who stands on his own two feet would fucking do that. So now if, 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 if you if you told me to do that, I'd, I'd give you I'd give you like a twenty for the because you made me laugh, and then I'd fucking uh and then I'd fucking walk on. So now you so, saying so now you saying that they're a punk. The white man is a punk. That's fine. Whatever you want to. No, do. I'm, I'm, I'm. Those guys aren't white men. They're punks. There's a difference. No the kinds of guys who go to prison and are like punks. holding on to a guy's pocket. You can be a white, listen, you could be a white punk. Oh yeah, there's plenty of white people. Who are right. punks. Like um, I don't happen to be one of them. That's why I don't do that bullshit. Yeah, that's why I, I'm fucking I, nasty. Hey, hey, with a name like Peckerwood, I'm definitely not saying you a punk. But then white. Oh, I know punks, that. No problem. Then white punks and white women. No, don't describe me right now. Them white punks and white women that get on their knees, if you whatever you want to call them as a white man that think they should not, that's on you. But when we're on that street, for my people that are watching, that frees them from psychological oppression. Would you at least now let's say if it was reverse, let's say if we had you enslaved and then you see uh black people and you get them down there, you don't think that psychologically that that would free white people from their oppression or what they feel like they're oppressed no i don't that's cab that's cab and i'm gonna tell I'm you a foot fetishist, man. Now, it ain't a, <laughs> see, now, you know why you say foot fetish because it offends you when especially when i showed that white one I'm not, I'm not offended i think people who kiss people's feet and earn the feet or foot they ain't kissing a foot literally he's kissing a boot yeah, that's yeah, so it's a that. boot fetish. No, some guys that. like some some guys are into like girls right. with big breasts. Some yeah. guys are into feet. I mean, I'm I'm not into any of that shit. What we what we're into is justice. What we're into 
is free. And that's why I read John 8 and 32. Ye shall be free. The mentality that black, like black people still think that they should vote for a president of the United States. Still think they should go into the white man's church or white man's religion, build up white America. The only way to counter that is to inspire them. And, and the boot kiss is just like one of many things. Us even being on the street corners, if we say the white man is a devil, we the children of the, Isra of the Israelites, stop using his drugs, stop aborting and stuff like that. There's other things that we do right there too. But when you get a white, and maybe you would have to be black to understand, or maybe you would have to be oppressed, which your day is coming, but maybe you would have to be oppressed as well to understand what it means to a black person that sees another black person getting a white woman or man willingly to get on their knees to apologize for what their ancestors have done because we're the one race that has never really gotten an action apology what i mean by action apology the jewish man get apologized they give him millions of dollars a damn new york governor just gave him 185 million so they don't just apologize they put action behind their apology. yeah but the thing is like you know you gotta like you, you know there's not uh in war and peace and in fucking history there's not any felonious conduct man like there's not there's, there's not there's not there's not i'm sorry this shit happened well, start, start from the beginning said it i'm gonna get what you just said i said in war and peace mm -hmm. and in fucking history there's no there's no fucking felonious conduct man you know like if you get caught lacking you get enslaved or you lose or you get took the fuck down mm -hmm. you know like there ain't no apologies anyone who would apologize is a fucking bitch that was my point Right. So what do you think? I mean, if you got a foot fetish or if you want, if you want like bitch made white people right. to be like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. It's like those, them people aren't capable of shit anyway. They're not the people, they're not the people if shit got lit, you'd have to deal with anyway because they're fucking pussies. But, um, you know, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all something. You shouldn't give a fuck anyway. Like I, I mean, I'm a fucking, I'm basically a minority of one where I'm at. And I mean, I just, I don't come at nobody like right. disrespectfully, like man to man. And like, I mean, that's cool, man. That's like basically all you old people, you know? I'm going to tell my audience something. My, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, my, this cat, Peckerwood, he's for the slaughter. I'm just letting y'all know now. He don't want. We're going to try any time, man. I'm going to explain, I'm going to explain what I mean. <laughs> Listen, because Ralph, Ralph was like, oh, God damn, Cap, I can't bring you back no more. That's what I mean is like, so for what we teach, right? We teach that there'll be those that are going to the kingdom that'll be slaves and apologize, and then there'll be some that is just firewood. Peckerwood is saying he ain't, he ain't going to be a German bitch. Like his German bitches, the German bitches that he had that apologized, that he felt his bitches, he's not going to be them. You would just take the death is what you're saying, Peckerwood, right? I mean, you could try. Like I said, I, I don't think it'd work out. No, I'm not you, coming but... to... No, no, no. Listen, <laughs> what I'm, I'm not talking about... I'm, I'm not... No, no, I know. I'm just... Okay, some okay shit, gotcha. But... So, yeah, I'm not talking about me doing anything to you. Personally. No, no, I, I know, man. But I know. if you want to chop and block and you got the choice of apologizing, getting on your knees and apologizing, or death, you choosing death, right? Yeah, I mean, it's going to happen I mean, sometime so that's anyway. What I meant when I say he for the slaughter. So everybody can understand. I don't, you know, I don't, I ain't saying that. I got to, uh, I got to raise up in a minute, man. Uh, yeah. We can do this again next week if you want. I don't mean to like be abrupt, but um, they say that there, are there like no questions point. anybody's asking or anything you want me to cover? Yeah. Well, I was going to ask, and maybe you could play off this too, but before you go, I figured it'd just be an hour anyway, but um, no, yeah. um, this whole thing started, Captain, because some black people disagree with you. Yeah, uh, Black One Hundred, definitely. Uh, and I know you were tight with him. Uh, yeah, and I, I've seen I you was. do some content with him, and yeah. I think you were in the Yay interview with him as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I was just gonna ask your your reaction to that. Uh, and That's I know he question. he trashed you basically on Adam Twenty yeah. Two's show. I saw that clip it's, too, and he kind of hey, turned. <laughs> hey, Rob, there's, there's kind of a bad energy on that show, man. Like, I'm not talking some shit on Adam 22. I mean, I, I, I'm going to hold my peace on that, but there's like bad energy there, man. I think, but go ahead. Now, Ralph, um, I definitely I do not have a really. problem answering, um, because you're so kind to me on the show. And so, I think what on the No Jumper show, I think didn't Ralph, excuse me, didn't Wax say I had a white mother? He did say that, yes. <laughs> I was surprised to hear that. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> he did say that. We played the clip, and I, yeah, I, I like, like, I was mind boggled when they so when they sent. Me I was too. Yeah, when they yeah. sent me the clip and said, "Yo, yeah, whack on no jumper," said you got a white mother. So what, what bugged me out the most is I said, "Well, where is he getting his intel from?" Like my mother is not white at all. Both my parents are black. So me and Wax fallout is over this subject, the boot kiss. Yeah. Like we didn't have an issue. We now, and, and for the record, I want everybody to understand I'm answering this because Ralph acts and like Ralph lets me do what I want. So he deserves to get a full detailed answer. So a couple of weeks ago, me and Wax is on his, uh, on the 100 side on clubhouse. And so as we on the 100 side on clubhouse, we didn't even start talking, um, about the boot kiss at all we was talking about vegan versus meat and different subjects and so he brought up the boot kiss and what's interesting did you have did you play the uh the content where where um he told adam to kiss the boot i didn't hear that i just saw his uh, clip and a little bit of you guys discussion okay, so talk, and, uh, and he did I... say you had a white mother and i was baffled yeah. by that because i hey, didn't think that's hey, true hey, but, hey ralph uh, did a part of, did a part of you think we might be related <laughs> well, we do get along pretty well, uh, you know. I, I, I was shocked to hear that, and I, you know, I I thought it was bullshit, but I was also like, maybe he knows something I don't know, right? Like I I never heard that, but uh, you didn't, it didn't no strike sweat. me that way. That you uh, right no mother, problem. Yeah. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to find the the um the clip where he tells Adam to kiss the boot because of me. And the reason why I'm gonna find that clip is because what makes that interesting is because Wack goes from supporting me like whack brought me on the show like you just mentioned that he brought me on excuse me i interviewed kanye west through him yeah. um hold on I, I which was a big spot by the way let me let uh thomas get his final thoughts in here because okay, no i know problem. he's gonna bounce and i figure we only had him for about an hour anyway right, and then I'll, I'll finish breaking it down That's yeah and then you can finish with that uh but just uh final thoughts here thomas and and you could weigh in on on anything else you want and promote your stuff too here yeah you can find me you can find me on Substack. That's probably where I'm most active these days, man. It's uh, real, R E A L, Thomas777.substack.com. Um, I'm on I'm on Twitter, man. Um, at real, capital R E A L, underscore number seven, H O M E S, 777.com. I got um, a T Gram channel again. I apparently I get nuked off there, man, for like fucked up and frivolous That's reasons. That's crazy. Well, it's like the man, I think it's there's a strong like ukrainian element to um yeah. their uh I, I don't even know they're publicly traded but whoever like the control group is there like on the private side and like if you trash ukraine they'll like fucking ban you but then there's i stopped doing that because i was consciously aware that they're sensitive about that and i got i just got like arbitrarily nuked but i i do have a i do have a t-gram channel now it's it's mind phaser it's named after the podcast um I mean, that's basically what I'm up on. I'm I'm trying to get some more long form stuff done, and I'm hoping I'm working on this book. I want to get done hopefully by October, November, man. Um, I'm probably gonna publish it through Imperium because they've been very good to me. But that's basically what I'm what I what I've got going on at the moment. And, and thank you very much for hosting me, man. I'm I love really, it, and thank I you really for filling in. It. Like I said, I. You know, I, I didn't mean it's sort of be abrupt, man. It's just this no, no. Hectic week. I appreciate you coming, man. That's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it was good talking to you, Captain. Um, we'll get yeah, you back on soon uh, to talk about politics and and uh, you know the war, geopolitics and stuff like that too. Because got a lot of stuff I'd like to talk about on that front too. So no, just hit um, me up uh, next week or the week after. I could probably give you two hours if you give me like a few days' notice. It's yeah. totally up to you. Like no hard feelings if you want to do that. But if you want, no, I'd love to do that. Yeah, I'd just hit me up, that. man. You ought to get hold of me. And um, we'll yeah, be good, Captain. It was good to see hey, you again. No man. problem. Anytime. Next time, right, you can subject. Next time you can check the subject, and I'll come back. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, man. Too. All right, no. all right, fellas, be good. All right, thank you, Thomas. All right, so Ralph, uh, I'm gonna share my screen. I want to play this video real fast so people can see, just so I could kind of get like a timeline. So in this video, I'm about to play right here. Um, white guy <laughs> y'all took credit for building america and you know goddamn well you didn't i wasn't there so, you, you ever hear like you shouldn't be judged by the sins of your father oh, shit. apply that to the white race thank uh, you captain tazariot and the hebrew israelite says you should pay for your father's sins kiss the goddamn boot 
You seen him do this shit, right? All right, so I'm going to stop that right there. So when I did that, um, okay, I see how I stopped the other share because I, I think I had clicked the wrong one. So stop sharing that one. I think I clicked the right one. All right, so as you can see, like I was saying earlier, like he plugged me with Kanye West to do the interview with Kanye. Was interested, Ralph, February of last February of this year, we had this issue. February of last year, there was a another fake issue because these are not real issues. This is shit he made up. So like last year, he created another fake issue. And then he came in and contacted me. And the reason why the no jumper thing came about was I was supposed to debate Richard Spencer. Um, Ralph, you know, I've been trying to get Richard Spencer. I even yeah. asked you if you can get Richard Spencer. So he has said he can get Richard Spencer, wanted me to come on the no jumper to debate. And Richard Spencer ended up uh, backing out. And so I was in California. So he brought me on the show. So a couple of weeks ago, we going back and forth over the boot kiss. And he's saying his position is that us making white people kiss the boo is going to make like Aryan type of whites start harming innocent black women and children because we making them kiss the boot, which was strange to me because we've been doing this for like over 40, 50 years and it hasn't happened yet. And so I ended that conversation by saying this. I said, if you want us to stop making white people kiss the boot, then you have to actively uh, go into the black communities with us to stop gang violence because one thing we do know is that innocent men women and children are getting killed from gang violence so that was like a monday by wednesday they was doing a room like uh f cap we're gonna expose cap so i don't know what caused the flip now me being slightly a conspiracy theorist, like i ain't really all the way <laughs> a conspiracy theorist i would say maybe some white man told him you got to stop cap being talking like that on your show but I could talk however I want on your show, so I don't know why sure. the, why there's an indifference or anything like that. So I don't have a direct answer as to what his issue is with me. What I can say with 100% certainty that I've done nothing to him. Even, like, you see this shirt I got on, Kiss the Boot? I see that, yeah. I was looking at it earlier, yeah. Now, I didn't know that my school had this shirt made already. When I was on the phone with Wack, he said to get a shirt called Kiss the Boot. He said, hey, man, you should call yourself Captain Desaryak, a.k.a. Kiss the Boot, excuse me, Mr. Kiss the Boot, a.k.a. Mr. IHBK. So he was like with me with the joint. So I don't I don't really have a direct answer as to why he's like that. Only thing I could say is that I'm not affiliated with him anymore. But so I don't have a I don't know how to tell you, like, what was the camera that broke the back? I don't know. I, I just, yeah, it was just it was really strange. And I know he's he was, he was a big promoter of yours. And like you said, you know, I forgot he'd said that. Uh, try to accuse you of having a white mother. It was a really kind of a personal yeah. attack, uh, honestly. And I was like, "What the fuck?" When I was watching it, <laughs> it was really nasty, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, I mean, well, you know, um, used to be he's trying to hurt your cred with black people, kind yeah. of right? To throw that out. That's what he's trying to do, wasn't it? Right? Uh, he's got a white mama. Yeah. Part of it, I'll tell you, part of it is like a lot of what Wack does is content driven, so. Even if it's not real, if it's fake or whatever, if it yeah. drives content. And that's the, that's the bad thing about social media. Like, you could just make up anything about anybody. And, yeah, you, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I guess he thought maybe saying I got a white mama was supposed to make me lose people. But right. I ain't lose nobody because everybody knows I ain't got my white. I'm about to say my wife. My mother's been to my cookout. My mother's my mother birth. That is crazy as hell of me. I would have thought, like, maybe say, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, what else could you say? Like, but it, now, cause like for an Israelite saying I got a white mother, if I had a black father, I still would be black. So it wouldn't even be enough to say I got a white mother. So even if I had one, if my father's black, it wouldn't stop me from being black. Now, if he said I got a white father, then that would give more credence, which is why I didn't take it as serious as a lot of other people took it. A lot of other people look at it like, damn, Wack said he got a white mother. Maybe he do got a white mother. I looked at it as Wack is a troll. And Wack, that's Wack trolling. That's how I looked at it. But at the same time, I'm not going to affiliate with that no more. So that's the best. Yeah, I, and I don't blame you. And, uh, and again, you know, I heard it and I didn't believe it. But I was like, I, you know, where is that even coming from? Right. Like, I, I, 
I never heard that. Yeah. <laughs> before. So I was like, sounds like bullshit, but like, I, you yeah. know, I never asked you about your mama. Like, I wouldn't because it has nothing to do with the show, right? Like, I, right. I wouldn't yeah. ever even come up in the first place. The subject, so. I can see asking, but if mama ain't about yeah. the subject, why are we talk about mama's part? Yeah, I know. I don't know. It was just really <laughs> weird. Uh, and yeah, you know, if he's just trolling, I have to deal with that too, where people just make up some shit. Yeah, but no damn some people like that type of entertainment. Or, yeah, oh, and, that, whatever. and, and um, the thing about Clubhouse, where he said it at, and even with the Adam, they thrive off of what they call plays and fake narratives. So it don't even matter if it's real or not. It's like, what can get the people in the room? I'm going to fill a room up. Okay, Cap's mom is white. I'm going to fill a room up. But yeah. after that's over, you destroy your friendship over a lie. Now there's no friendship no more over a lie. So because if a person snakes you once, you might let it slide or something like that. But to snake me twice, I just can't affiliate it with that. So, yeah, and I have the same principle. You know, I'm kind of a forgiving guy, and I've welcomed people back. And you know, usually it's a mistake, though. I'll say <laughs> even after the first snaking, because uh, if they'll snake you once, they'll probably snake you twice. Uh, mm -hmm. And I found that out the hard way many times. Yeah, uh, and sometimes and, you know, it's, it's a gamble because I always give people two chances. And, yeah, I try to do that too. Yeah, so. and it's a gamble. It's a it's a gamble in the sense that there's some people I gave a second chance, it worked out. Yeah, 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 I've had it. You know I'm saying too. so. It's 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 only that the ones that don't work out seem to stand out more, of course, yeah. because he'd be like, "God damn it, why did I even try? I ain't trying no more." And then the next person come, you give them a second chance. But for for us as Israelites, we always are looking to give you know our brothers second chances. And although I'm not gonna affiliate with him anymore, I don't wish no ill or nothing. He, you know, I hope he has the best. You know, be the richest, wealthiest man on the planet. I'm just not messing with him no more because I would never trust him. And if I can't trust you, then I just can't rock with you. Yeah. And I, I completely understand. Uh, and it's happened to me, but I figured I'd ask you about it because that's how this whole thing kind of started. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I think the first it place, so. pretty good, man. I made my man Peckerwood run off. I know he only, I thought he was going to do two hours. I was hoping. To well, I was, I, I figured he might just have an hour. Okay. Uh, we could do another discussion. Um, another hour with him. He said he could come back for a couple hours. Uh, yeah, in a definitely. Couple weeks. Let me know. Or anybody like if I don't, I don't know. Yeah, how yeah. Richard Spencer. I don't know if y'all cool or anything like that. Well, you know, we were cool and he's been on the show a lot, but uh, I don't know if he's ducking the kill stream now. I, you know, I don't want to throw any shade, but right, uh, right. seems like he might be. Um, yeah, because I, uh, I think that would be huge to have somebody of his ilk, someone somebody of mine to have a you know discussion whether it be politics whether it be racial based political based whatever it may be i think that could be a good conversation that um that we could have i think it'd be good for both you know what i'll reach out to him but i you know i can't guarantee anything he's been on the That's show plenty of times and he was on the show several times last year mm -hmm. um but he's kind of look i'm not even throwing shade i'm just being honest he's one of these cats that's uh you know, one way he's one day he's going this way, one day he's going that way. It's cool. Oh, he's he's dead. Now yeah. he's kind of keeping his distance, and right. so that's just the kind of guy he is. Not yeah. talking shit. That's just yeah. I, I, I understand. I, run. I have no beef with him. Uh, to be right. clear, and I would I would love to host it, but you know, yeah, no I'll reach out on it. I'll reach out on it. Um. And I was going to ask you, what should we talk about next time we have you on? Like, I mean, we could just do a general, general um, discussion. Yeah, we can have a general open discussion. It could be normally it's usually like uh, race relations. I did what I would like. What I do like about Peckerwood in this conversation is uh, we was able to go into the Bible a little bit. Now, I don't know if you're. Yeah, and that hasn't happened too much. Yeah, that doesn't happen. So and I don't know if that's something you would be interested in doing a Bible discussion. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I know like uh race is a huge thing in america even if it's critical race theory is it legit or not yeah. uh we could talk about transformers if if uh you want but we'll probably be agree with transformers <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about the trannies is that what you're yeah, talking about yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, say I forgot the station i was on i can say trannies here i'm sorry yeah you can say trannies now uh on rumble yeah, but yeah. Uh, you so, know what yeah a discussion on race um also, it's been a while since we had you with the with the so called Jew, yeah, uh, uh, as well. Well, that'll be the um, Listen, you know, every every Black History Month, I play that video of me and you when I pulled out the Hitler book. That's one of the funniest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I completely lost my composure Yo, uh, listen, once you did that. Listen, uh, listen, and he literally pulled out the book, put it on the camera. I was. 
It's like a Nazi book, dude. I was just losing dude, my shit. Rob, right. You have to uh, see your face. And then Rob, Rob <laughs> think he's slick. Rob said, can you show that again? Because we didn't see it. So Rob. <laughs> <laughs> and for those who don't know, he was debating uh, like a literal Jewish settler right. yeah. uh, in the West yeah. Bank <laughs> when he pulled this out. Uh, one of the Killstream historic moments for sure. Yeah, and I, man. I say check out uh, the audience too because I know a lot of your followers um, know of me because sometimes they'll comment on my videos. I comment back, so you if yeah. they if, you know if they got somebody in mind, you know I'm definitely interested in coming back. It could be a so-called Jewish man, it could be you know a white man, it could be any subject. You just hit me up and then we could work it from there. All right, I'll do that. And All right. you know I'm trying to have a debate on. I, I'll ask you this while you're still here, okay. and I'll let you promote your stuff. I'm trying to get a debate uh, versus. Uh, a so-called Jew, how, how we'd say it. Uh, they would say just Jew, uh, but yeah, we say uh, so-called uh, Jew too. Yeah, yeah, a, 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 a Jew, quote unquote, versus uh, somebody on whether or not what's going on in Palestine. I don't know if you care about what's going on. Oh in no, Palestine, that would be a good no. That that actually, I would definitely do that. Like, let's say if you hit me up tonight and say I got somebody for tomorrow, I would do it tomorrow. Because you know what? I might be able to arrange it tomorrow um, because I, I've got this Jewish guy, so-called Jewish guy. Right. Um, and I, I'm trying to get him paired up with somebody to debate whether or not what the Israelis are doing is a right. genocide. Exactly. Yeah, right. So the it, Israeli versus Palestine, I'll yeah. get that in a heartbeat. I'll okay, you know what? I'll work on that tonight. Okay. Uh, and I'll see okay. um, if, you, if you're down tomorrow, I'll see no, if I can get that set up. Yep. Okay. Down with that. That'd be great because I'm trying to fill that slot, and it's oh yeah, Phil, it's filled. Tough. You know, Cap, listen, Cap got one of the slots. Let's get a so-called Jew for the other slot. We good to go. All right, but oh. I'll, I'll do that. And then I did see this. Okay, they wanted me to read out this super chat. I didn't read it while oh, it was going okay. on okay, because super chat. It's a little. I wouldn't normally say the. I wouldn't say these things. But okay, he, right. he said these things. Right. He said, "Captain, you talk like a fucking KRS One song from a snow roach." <laughs> To a Velcro head, he said, "Fuck the so-called Jews," is what he said uh, uh, in his super chat. A snow roach. I'd never heard that one. I don't know what a snow roach is, but he ain't talking about me because I. We no, no, he was calling himself a snow roach. Oh, uh, oh, he's the snow roach. Yeah, yeah. At least he's a roach. But listen, let me let me tell you how racist he is, though. He don't want to be a black roach. He don't want to be a regular roach. He don't want to just be a regular roach. He got he's still a white roach. Nobody ever seen the snow roach. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, he said, he said, I ain't no regular roach. <laughs> and I bet you, I bet you the snow roaches are cleaner than the regular roaches. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, that's fine. Even the KRS one reference, I ain't really mad at the KRS one reference. He taught we was Israel for the time too. So uh that's fine with me too. But that's a funny ass super chat. That super chat funny. I'm gonna make a clip out of him saying he's a snow roach. That's a new. I never knew white people if they want to say roaches, they won't even say they a roach. They gotta be a snow roach. That's yeah, hell yeah. I'm gonna say it on Cross the Line Thursday. Snow roaches. White people don't even want to be the same roach as black people. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell people where they can find you, and I'll work and see if I can get. The, I don't know if I can get it set up in twenty four hours, but I'm gonna try. No, but you let and if not, maybe we can do it next week. No, yeah, next week is cool. I'm just saying, if you, whenever you get it set up, I'll be available. Oh, you're down. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. I ain't saying you got to do it that fast, but let's say if you okay. said next Tuesday, I'm down for next Tuesday or next Wednesday, whenever you have it, I'm down for it. So I'm Captain Desire Yag of I should be K Man. It's been a pleasure to be on Ralph's show. Kill stream or rumble. Make sure y'all follow him. Make sure y'all follow him on Telegram. I follow him on Telegram as well. Today was a good um discussion with Thomas Peckerwood. His name, not mine. He calls himself Peckerwood. Uh, you can find me on uh, my website is isubk.com. That's where you can go to find all the information for my organization, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commander Jenny Hanna. Uh, he has a radio show that he does every Monday on YouTube. It's called World on Fire, right? America uh, on Fire. It's called America on Fire. If you go on YouTube and put in America on Fire, you'll find Commander Jenny Hanna's YouTube channel. That's his channel. My channel is Cross the Line Radio and Captain Desire Yak Podcast. That's also on YouTube. We do a radio show every Thursday from 10 p.m. to midnight. For all the white people that's on Killstream, if y'all want to be a guest on my show and talk some shit, 
just hit me up. Ralph knows how to get in touch with me. You could be a guest on my show. We debate just like Ralph debates and brings uh, different people of all races on his show. We do the exact same thing because these type of conversations um, are necessary. Although this conversation was sparked between two black men, the real conversation took place between me and Thomas. And I think that was the most important part. Uh, with that, Ralph, I appreciate you having me on, man. Until next time. Thank you, brother. I appreciate right. it. No uh, problem. I'll talk to you soon. All right. All right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to come back to my stream yard here. Hey, man, what y'all think of the show? Uh, club, uh, Clubhouse, uh, if y'all talk, I think we can hear you. Wait, let me make sure I'm still here. Oh, shit, did I get knocked out of Clubhouse? No, no, no hey, you're you're okay. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, okay. Y'all can hear me? Okay, I appreciate it. So if y'all got, what? He might have got knocked out. I'm not sure. We'll see. Say again? I'm back. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay. We can hear you the whole time. Oh, okay, okay. When I looked on the app, it looked like it was double. Like um, I couldn't do it. Corey, you I see your comment in the chat when it says he sound disappointed. That white boy was hurt. <laughs> that white boy was yeah, hurt. He, yeah, yeah. He sound he sound very um towards the end. Uh I think. I think I wouldn't say he didn't prepare because I believe if he prepared, it still would have been just as bad. But uh, I mean, I thought I feel like he thought anything he did was going to work. Right. And nothing worked. I tracked everything he said and nothing worked. Right. <laughs> right. Said right. that he tried to throw you off on or thought that he was saying something cool. Mm -hmm. You just you just turned him on his head on yeah. every single thing. The German. Uh, the Jewish, you know what I'm saying? You connected that. Um, even with his name, the whole peck of wood. He was upset. <clears throat> he was very upset because you was actually educated and defining things. Right. That was right. weird. You know, that and and what was crazy about it, that's why he said he made a little uh quote unquote racism when he said uh, you know, black brothers in the hood just uh you're not just gonna be standing there pulling up definitions, you know what <laughs> I mean? Like that meant anything. But right. I, like right now I'm in the hood standing there with my guys. No, I'm on a stream yard in a formal debate, having a conversation with you about terminology views, especially culturally, right? Because if he said colloquially, we're not of the same people group. So you may say something that means something totally different. You're not a core black brother in the hood where I would simply understand him. So if you're calling yourself a peck of wood, that needs to be defined because in my worldview, a peck of wood is a neck right. somebody that's of a lower tier right. in a white community. That's what that is. So exactly. maybe if I would have just called you a peck of wood from my worldview, you could have said nope it really means this other thing so it's important for me to define it i feel you defining it was a very excellent thing but not only that you asking him what pecker would mean or what he you know what i'm saying is that right. an official term of you that was very appropriate so mm -hmm. he wasn't just ready on no terms at all no and, and see that's that's what threw him off the most because when i asked him peckerwood i was surprised that he wouldn't give a definition. And once he forced it, that almost started the whole thing. Cause once I defined the one word, now everything that came up was like, okay, let's look up the definition for that. Let's look up the definition for that. Let's look up the definition for that. And that's what frustrated him because it destroyed his talking points. So when he tried to talk about something, we look up the hey, definition. Cap, you, for some reason, your screen keep muting every uh, five to 10 seconds. And then oh, it okay. Unmutes. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me see something here. I think I got Hold this on. open twice. Hold up. Wait. Let me come back. Yeah. Every 10 seconds, it mute. Okay. And I'm going to stay on the screen, and then I'm going to just look at it and see. So what I was saying was, like, that set the whole tone. That one definition of Peckerwood set the whole tone for defining things, going through things detailed. And because he probably is used to his normal talking points, and even the racial thing when he say, and, and him saying a black man from the hood, when I did that debate with that Jewish dude and I started breaking down history, he said the same thing. He said a black man from Harlem, like a black man from Harlem is going to tell me because I will never say that they don't study. I agree with you on that, Corey, but I think they study us from these are just niggas that's reading the Bible. They don't know nothing. 
So I'm gonna get up here, use my usual one two that works on the average no right. nothing black person, and that's gonna stump him. He don't expect to get in here. And and what surprised me the most about this guy is that this is my second time debating him. I debated him before, so I would have thought that he would have known that I was gonna look these things up, do them. And for me to highlight, one of the highlights was being able to read into the Bible, read into the Bible, Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, tell him how he's Esau and when, and he brought up caucus first. Once he brought up caucus, now I can say, Hey, where was Esau? And he didn't even deny that Esau was in the mountains. He just tried to say it was a different type of mountain or the location of the mountain, but a mountain is a mountain as far as I know. So so I think overall that was cool. Corey, I don't know if y'all gonna keep the room running, but I got it on my laptop. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna probably log out of my laptop and I'll put it on my phone and I'll hop back in some because I'm gonna uh, close the stream. Unless y'all gonna close the room. If y'all just gonna close the room, then I'll get, get back on. So you just let me know what y'all gonna do. But I am about to end the um the live stream in a second. Con con, yeah, we finna end the live stream on this side as well. That was an excellent uh Excellent bill, man. He wasn't ready on, on no terms. Uh, like I said, he was stomped on every point. And then every point that was highlighted and made a point, he the one said it. He, right. he said it. And then you just you magnified it and utilized it as benefit. He had already lost, really. Uh, and like I agree with you, once he said, gave, once the definition of Pecklewood was read and he agreed to it, like, yeah, I'm white and I'm poor, you know, I'm, I'm poorer than other people, you know, like Elon Musk. Right, so once right. he said that, he put <laughs> he put himself in a spot to where the rest of the conversation, he didn't even realize what was happening. Right. Because he said, oh, only the white and poor trash people. Right. Kiss That's and do you remember so what he, he said after that, though? The bus. When I brought the then white woman up, then yep. he went to the white woman. Now you said they were yep. rich. So yep. <laughs> and, and he. Now you now you you torn from all sides because you're saying this uneducated quote unquote group of white people we can throw them away right we, we ain't dealing with them right but then now we got the educated kids in the boots now what <laughs> now, now, now what, what you, you gonna say you know like you ain't and then no the option, Bible man. yeah and then you know what he did was his last uh the only way that he could protect the conversation from there is to guard the bible from you to right. say no the bible ain't dealing with that the bible is not a fetish right. once he said the bible is not a fetish it was over but what you're doing is a fetish <laughs> and you just kept highlighting so the bible ain't a fetish right he said, no, all right cool so once you brought scripture out of the bible that said this will be performed um by gentile nations to the israelites once you show that <clears throat> the whole his whole premise is over. Once he kills the fetish part, is everything is destroyed. And then once y'all got into the Bible, y'all couldn't get out of it. Right. So once he's saying God ain't a racist, you gotta show that now. And then he say, Well, why did he do that? Did you continue reading? It's in the next two verses why he did it. Because he loved a group of people who was on the earth and <laughs> hated right. the rest. That's it's right, right there in the scripture. It. So, That's it. Yeah, it was it was it was bad on all. He didn't have. He knew he didn't have everything. He was gassed out, and uh, I don't know if that seemed like it was about forty five minutes. No more yeah. than an hour. Yeah, no more. It was because like like at the forty five minute mark, that's when he started doing closeouts, and we start you know thanking me and shit like that. So yeah, that was it. And, and Cap, did he uh did he kind of sign on for maybe about two hours for this? Yeah, it was supposed to be two hours. It was supposed to be a two hour debate. Yeah. Yep. Sheesh, you know, yeah. so you got Tommy side of my ear. Yeah. You said he uh, Tommy backed out. My, he yeah, ran. He backed your out, words, he ran. Not mine. <laughs> and uh, Thomas Thomas Pickerwood signed on for two yeah. hours, and, yeah. and, and he, he ran in the middle of it. In the middle of it. The scriptures say the wicked flee with no man pursue it. I just God. take his words and just flip him upside his head. So God, that was that was madness, man. Shout out to That's Captain right. Cesario. Make right. sure y'all follow me, Captain Cesario. Y'all sure. man. Right. Follow the guy for his game versus That's platforms. Right. Sure excellent bill, excellent versus... debate, King. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. All right, no sweat, man. Shalom. Y'all should talk about some more things about you. I'll wrap with y'all later, Corey. All praise. All right. I'm gonna exit out of clubhouse. Um, so now to my straight. Listen, man, I try to give y'all bodies, body on top of body, on top of body. I did a good job. Shout out to Commander General Yohannes. Shout out to General Hyman.
General Hyman, the baddest war general, prepared me uh, to deal with this subject as he prepares me to deal with all subjects. So shout out to them. Shout out to generals, captains, officers. Shout out to sisters. Shout out to Commander General Hunter bringing that sister on the stage. She brought the sister to sing Ashaw Gapan's favorite song. I cook, I clean, I fuck, I shut up. China Monet. China Monet said two heavy ass things that don't let it go over your head. The first thing she did was she corrected herself about her mother. And she was talking about her mother. She said, yeah, you know, my mother had five husbands, so she knew how to be submissive. Now, when she said it, the generals got excellent discipline, first of all. I just want to tell you that. Their discipline is absolutely amazing. Because when you see General Johanna's face, you see General Mahima's face, it don't budge. It's just like this. And General Mahima just looking like this, right? And so as the sister is still, as the sister continued to talk, she says, no, wait, no, nah, she had five husbands because she wasn't submissive. Ah, thank you, sir. Okay, sis. Then General Hyman, now General Hyman is letting out all the shit that he was holding in. Like, what, what's going on? And then, so that was, and that was heavy because she did something that a lot of sisters don't do. What sister is going to say, first say, make your mother be righteous. And then when it dawns on you that she's not, correct yourself. And she did it under 30 seconds. The other thing she did was when she said it was her man that taught her how to be submissive. So, so, and, and it parallel. So her mother taught her how to be a monster and it took a man to teach her how to be submissive. Let you righteous, pure princesses and queens and goddesses out there. that got you a horrible mother that raised you to hate a man. Learn that only a man can teach you to be submissive. Shalom.